Coffee Red Badger TV, join me DT and Borley post deep in defeat. Mm -hmm. I think I know where you're going with this DT, but I'm going to come to you, give us a breakdown of the game. Um, breakdown of the game was, I believe, 11 v 11 was on top. Moment of madness, madness from Willow. I just said to him in the dressing room, I think he's got himself right side and doesn't need to go to ground. Um, but hey, that's that's the referee who's given a decision, last man, he sent him off and then to rub something to the room, just caught from the free kick, edge of the box, great finish to be fair. Guys put it in the top bin. Um, and it's, again, give ourselves a mountain to climb. Um, second half, I, mean, I, think, I think even first half, we moved the ball well, as, as I said, half time. When we actually passed the ball, we didn't go back to front so direct, we, we looked dangerous. Um, I think Tyler should score in the first minute with his one on one. Um, obviously, he had a half chance on the volley um, to, to equalise as well. Um, but the sort of worrying danger was, you know, tired legs to second half. And then, I'll pro if I say what I was want to say about the officials, I can get fined. So I'm not going to say it. Um, I don't believe it was over the line. They will, you know, if I was them, I'd be claiming for it. But, you know, the the official that's probably 82 at, at, at best is on the six yard box and he's given a goal to go over the line so yeah we're just I think being brutally honest I think we're a bit short of getting into the playoffs you know in terms of the bigger pitch I feel, feel like our game management sometimes and uh, and a now is probably a little bit short shorter than the, the five that are in there and, and sides in and around us um, so that's food for thought for us. As I, as I said to the lads, we've been in charge uh, a year tomorrow. Um, yes, disappointing. I'm really disappointed with another defeat. We want to go in every game and win. Um, but the bigger picture and the perspective is, you know, I look at, you know, Sherwood. I know Sav's had them for four or five years. Lincoln, they've been together for probably five, six years at step four. Melton have been together for a while. Students, do they get an influx each year of, you know, good crop of kids? Um, and who else is in there? Skeg, you know, Skeg have been together with Rollo for a while. We've been together for this season. We've got something to build on. You know, OC's just said we've got 30 points to play for. So that's all we can do, Carl. We need to, you know, turn up to work on Wednesday, turn up next Saturday, big local derby against Hucknall. We've just got to try and get back to winning football matches and getting a smile back on everyone's face. Paulie, coming to you, um, obviously on the pitch perspective today, give us your breakdown. Um, difficult one, because obviously we've been done 2-0, but like DT said, I think we was comfortable. Um, they haven't really troubled us apart from the free kick. Um, also, that was with and then Danny Elliott coming in at centre-half next to me, and then my knees gone literally five, ten minutes after, and they still didn't really cause us a great deal of issues um, very direct I think we dealt with with their attacking threat comfortably and the, I said the goal second goal didn't go didn't go over the line so yeah we just said like DT just said in there to the boys proud of them today obviously playing against 11 when you've got 10 men is always difficult um, but we've still gone on and been it looked like it was 11 v 11 we looked comfortable was moving the ball and passing the ball well and we was the only ones that looked like creating chances um, but yeah it's just another frustrating one mate Funny game though, because like you said, disappointed with the with the defeat. But there is definitely positives to take from this game, right? So yeah, one hundred percent. I know, obviously, we're, we're, you know, with Borley playing, sometimes you can get lost and you, you lost in the game, and you're not really uh, you've got your bearings around you. And listen, I don't want to take any credit away from Deepin. You know, I, I, it's, I don't want this interview to sound a little bit salty. That you know, we, but you know, they came here and done a not done a job. They were. Defended well. I thought their centre off number six was, uh, it was their best player. He added everything. He defended really, really well. Um, they moved the ball, but they looked a, a good, experienced outfit. And you know, even I, I said, you know, to the lads, you know, with 11 men against 10, you know, the last five minutes they were keeping the ball in the corner. And I said, in ironic, if we'd done that against Belpour and we did that last week against Skeg, we'd be four points better off than we were now. So again, that's a learning curve for us. You know, we. We know. I think we we know where we're short. Um, so our recruitment in the summer will have to be around that. Um, and 
you, you know, we've not turned into a bad team overnight, but the reality is we've won two football matches since November. Um, and if you're going to only win two games in two months, then you're not going to you're not going to get to the places that we want to be. So it's frustrating because there's so much potential of what we can. And I think, you know, because we've seen it this, the first half of the season, that's probably the most frustrating thing. Um, but, you know, we've got 10 games to go. We'll give everything as they have done again today. Um, and that, and I, I said to them, I'm really, I don't know if prize the right word, but I was really encouraged because it showed a lot of lads cared today, even when, yeah, there was, there was a lot of heart. And even when the, the chips were down, it was 2-0 and it was a bit of a stalemate. I still had my front three, you know, Kamani, Tyler, Aaron, closing, running 20, 30 yards, closing people down. Tomo, you know, sort of didn't have anything. Danny Elliott's gone in at centre half today and been superb. So, yeah, it's annoying. Ruin my weekend again. But, you know, we're, we've got big enough shoulders to take anything that comes our way. Um, all the criticism and the rest of it, you know, that's, that's why we're in football. Football's about opinions and football's about getting results. So it comes up, it lies on us at the end of the day. Listen, year on year, obviously, there's clear progression there. So, you know, let's not listen to too much criticism. That's part of the interview to you, Baller. So how are you feeling then in terms of fitness? Obviously, how long did, was it about 70 minutes you lasted today, was it roughly? I felt okay. I, the rest of my body feels fine. I've just turned, I've just twisted my knee, like I say, first 10, 15. Um, I try to get through it as long as I can, but yeah, I d it don't feel great at the minute. Um, it's highly unlikely I'll be back Saturday, if I'm honest. It don't feel like a, feels like a, a bad one. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll ice it. I'll ice it tonight. Ice it tomorrow. See, see where, it's, can see Swifty Saturday and see where we're at. But yeah, the rest, like I say, the rest of my body felt okay. It was just, yeah, my knee's just not okay. Congratulations, lads. On to Upnall next week. Enjoy the weekend as much as you can. And thanks for talking to Red Badger TV. Cheers, boys.